Today I'm going plant shopping at King's Greenhouse and I'm also going to go thrifting at a couple of Goodwill to see what kind of planty stuff I can find. I've been having these massive, massive hauls from Goodwill lately and I haven't been filming them so I'm trying to do better and like film when I go thrifting because oh, the finds. I'll share my haul at the end of the video. As you can see, I'm running around doing errands today. We're having a birthday party for my dad and we're hosting it at my house and there's a big football game. Uh, we are University of Tennessee. I don't know much about football, but I thought it would be fun to do like a theme, a football theme part. <laughs> like any opportunity for a theme. So I will share my haul at the end of the episode. If you're new, welcome. My name's Ashley and I do all planty content on this channel. Plant shopping, plant care, usually house plants. Um, tropical indoor plants. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. It's only good vibes here. And we also have uh, a community on Instagram if you want to be part of that. Hope you enjoy this planty shopping content. And I'm going to share my haul at the end of the episode. Not in the market for a table, but this one's nice, $20. Just a simple white table. Let's see what all we have going on over here. Sometimes over in the furniture section, you can find some really good like plant stands, bookshelves, all that kind of stuff. This is cute, this like little double coffee table. They have some really nice furniture available. Um, some nice couches. These little chairs. There's this little bookshelf. It's $4.99 and it's on wheels. This would be great for plants. Um, you could spray paint it. It's nice. $4.99. It's not bad. They have two of them. All right, checking it out, seeing what I can find that would be great for plants, things I could repurpose as planters. There's always really great finds over in this little section. So look at that cute little teapot. Just taking a peek over here where they have lots of their wooden items, boxes and cute stuff like that. Honestly, I was just kind of eyeing this. Like, what a cool bowl is that? $3.99, it's a good deal. All right, so I was taking a look at this little white planter here. These are great, you know, you can find them at Ikea, Walmart places, um, but this one's $2.99 and it's in good shape, so I'll probably get that one. Little terracotta planter, it's always interesting to see what kind of planters they have here, $1.99. It doesn't have drainage, um, I could drill it, but I'm, Honestly, I'm like on the lookout for unusual and kind of unique things that you wouldn't necessarily find everywhere. Look at this cute little duck pitcher. This little blue one is nice. It has a drainage hole in there. $1.99. That's a good deal. of black um, containers here that would be perfect for cover pots. Look how cute this one is with the little lavender on there. Oh, I actually love that. $2.99. Here's a planter, it's $3.99. Don't see why it's $4. They have lots of baskets, as always. This is a great place to find baskets. Um, and lots of glassware that you could use for propagations. Look at these. I think these look nice. Oh, this one's cute, soap. Mm. 
this one's pretty. That. $1.99. I was just looking at this with the little branches that come up. I do like that. What's it say? $2.99. Hmm. That would be nice just to have at my house. What are these? Oh, these are uh, little covers. I always love seeing everything at the Goodwill. This little Christmas tree. That's cute. Love that. This is interesting. Well, it's heavy. It's a candle holder. But you could use that for plants as well. Oh, look at this. This is an ashtray. Heavy duty. I mean, sometimes you can find like pure crystal, all sorts of interesting stuff. Look at this bowl. That's pretty. Candies. Mm, this glass is green. I know iridium glass is a thing. I don't know if this is an example of that or not. They always have really nice um, trays. Like if you like to entertain, this is a great spot to come and find some really nice trays that were probably really expensive to purchase. Um, off the bat, this one's pretty. Seasons greetings, 99 cents. Like, isn't that lovely? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. They have an entire set of bowls here, $6.99, and it comes with all of these little bowls. Well, that's a nice vase. Like if you ever need a vase for your plants, $2.99. These are some serious candlesticks from Pottery Barn, $1.99. You know they're more than $1.99 from Pottery Barn for sure. There's some little buckets here. I mean, these could be good little cover pots as well. I love glassware just at home anyways. I love to have like a nice assortment of glasses depending on what kind of drink I'm having, um, but it's also great for propagation. So it's nice to kind of look through and see what you can find. You can also repurpose a lot of teacups or coffee mugs um, for plants. Look how cute these little espresso, this little espresso set is from World Market. Goodwill is also a great spot if you're looking to like put together a little gift basket for somebody. You can get everything, literally you can get the basket and then you can get some cute little, I mean you could do something like this if you wanted to put together like a little Christmas basket. Um, everything, you can get a lot of new stuff here and put it together for 20 bucks and have like the best Christmas basket ever. You could do some, a little something like this. I mean look how cute that is. Um, yes. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. These hardback books are only a dollar thirty nine. Journey of a Lifetime, 500 of the world's greatest trips. Nice, I love that. <gasps> Oh, things wise and wonderful. James Harriet is what I named Tricky Woo, my dog. 
I know she, her name's crazy, but it's from this author from All Creatures Great and Small. I'm at my next Goodwill and it looks like they have a lot of great stuff here. I'm over in the Monroe area of Charlotte. Off the bat, look at this cool planter. $3.99. This would be a good outdoor, outdoor planter. I like the detail of the kind of blue ceramic with the white kind of concrete look. It's nice. I just noticed down here this planter. I was like, oh, that looks like it's self-watering pot which is perfect for African violets and lots of plants and underneath on the bottom here it says the violet pot so it's a it's a perfect planter and it is $3.99 that is such a steal wow look at this blue plate $4.99 and it's so heavy nice quality <gasps> that is stunning there's a lot of stuff at this this goodwill I don't come to this one this often. Elizabeth Pottery, 1992. This is really pretty. I like this green vase. Isn't that lovely? This is cool. You know, I'm on the lookout for lots of stuff today. Again, lots of glassware. Perfect for Christmas time or if you entertain, like, look how cute that is. TJ Maxx, four ninety nine. is neat. $2.99 says Mary. So I have a lot of planters like this already. I'm trying to see if I can find some unique stuff. This is fun. see a few planters something like this or something like this maybe sure about that little clock thing don't see much in the way of planters just picked up this one this one's nice for $2.99 So I got here just in the nick of time before they close. Some beautiful cyclamens here, all different varieties, $7.99. It looks like they have some Thanksgiving cactus. Um, as you guys know, there's all sorts of different holiday cactus and these are $6.99. So, so beautiful, love all the different colors. Stunning, stunning African violets, $6.99. I think I'm gonna visit that greenhouse where I found the variegated African violets again um, because I really just want to get some more I love them so much but these are so beautiful as well so much cool stuff all right just gonna run through oh some silver sword they are 54 these varicosum are growing like crazy oh my goodness how much are they 49 for these beautiful, beautiful varicosums. Melanochrysum, mine is doing really well that I got here. The last time I visited, they're 59. Look how tall that one is growing. Wow, they have some great stuff in. 
Let's see what else. Okay, little pink princess over here. Ring of Fire. These guys are looking so healthy. 69 for the Ring of Fires. ZZ's 26. Variegated Whale Fin Snake Plant, 59. And there's quite a few plants in there. That's nice. Bromeliads. I always have my eye out for these because I've only ever seen them here. They're 39 and they're so interesting. Quesnelia marmor marmota. Adansonii. Wow, look at this massive Monstera deliciosa. You can see all those aerial roots. So beautiful. This is their Hoya section. They always have great stuff in stock. Um, Black Margin, 39. Looks like some Puba Calyx. Beautiful leaf. Hoya Chelsea. Fabulous, fabulous Hoyas. Just can't do wrong by any of these Hoyas. Wyetii, 24. This is a type of Cro Croniana, 24. Oh my gosh, look at these. Why, um, okay, this is really tempting me today. $50. That's really, really beautiful. Okay, that's a maybe. Uh, look how stunning that is. There's some nice variegation on that. There's some nice variegation on this one as well. Beautiful Painted Ladies, one of my favorite plants. Rare plant that's actually worth it, $34.99. That's a great deal. Mine grows like crazy. I love taking a peek at the different terrarium plants. These are $4.99 for these terrarium plants. Look at this cute Hoya hanging out in here. They have quite a few Hoyas, $4.99, that's a great deal. Little heart, heart fern, heart leaf ferns. Um, heart leaf ferns are great, especially like in a terrarium type environment. They just like to be kept moist. There's some Syngonium in there. Ooh, they have um, Peperomia serpents, Variegata. A nice plant. Oh, look, Maranta. Okay, coming in with the cool terrarium plants. Some more great fern options. Some more Hoya, some nice Peperomias in there mixed in. Some Tradescantias. I think this is Purple Mystery. Persian, Purple Persian. Uh, can't remember the exact name of it. Ooh, these are new. Some variegated string of hearts, $19.99. It's a great find. You can't find these um, many places in Charlotte. Begonia amphioxus, again, an amazing plant that I love, $20. Some cute little Peperomia hopes, $14.99. Love these little succulenty guys. These Sissus disc colors are $29.99. Beautiful, beautiful plant. They do not appreciate being underwatered. Then over here we have the Blue Star Fern, which actually I found to be an incredibly easy fern that does really well for me considering I'm an underwaterer. Much better actually than even the Sissus disc color. So 10 out of 10 recommend those Blue Star Ferns. Lots of beautiful philodendron Brazils, 29. And some Florida, philodendron Florida green. These are 49. And I mean, look how big some of these are. Like, look at this one for $49. And it's all the way trailing. That's a good deal. I have one already, otherwise I would get that one. Neon Pothos. Marble Queen.
time for the haul. I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. Like I said, I've been having some huge hauls lately um, from thrifting and I'm trying to do a better job of filming what I find. I'm just gonna jump into it. I can't remember, oh, first let me show you the plant that I ended up getting. It is so beautiful. It is a philodendron white wizard. I do not have one of these in my collection and I've been wanting to add one forever. It's so beautiful. I love the variegation of the leaves. It has that really stark white against the dark green and some of the leaves come out like with a spotted variegation. It has a new leaf coming out and it looks like that new leaf is going to have a good amount of variegation on there. Um, you can tell on the stems a lot of times you, by looking at the stems you can tell if the plant has some solid variegation and it does. It even has some babies popping out of the planters so I could propagate this one which these philodendron are fun if you get like a nice bushy basket of them. So this was a great great find $49 from King's Greenhouse in Charlotte. I love visiting them because they have so many exciting new plants all the time and this one's definitely been on my wish list for a really long time so I'm extremely excited to be adding this one to my collection and philodendrons are so easy to take care of. Uh, they need hardly anything and I'm uh, really, really excited about this one. If you have any care suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments below. So I'm going to jump into what I found thrifting today. I've been so into thrifting lately. It's like, I don't know, just finding so much great stuff. And we have so many Goodwills in Charlotte that I feel like I would just rather go and find something for five bucks rather than spend so much other places. Um, I recently took up tennis and I needed to find some tennis outfits. Once well, a Goodwill and like so many tennis outfits. It's really cool. So don't forget that if you go thrifting, make sure to sanitize and wash everything. And I usually leave my stuff in my bag until I'm able to sanitize and wash everything because you just never know. But you know, that's an easy step. I would do that anyways, usually with stuff I bring home from the store. So this beautiful planter, $3.99, it's so cool. It'll be a nice cover pot. I love the blue and the white and the contrasting textures. Uh, it could be an outdoor pot or indoor. I really like the swirl. It kind of reminds me of peppermint, but it's blue instead of red. I thought that was a great find. Then this one, I decided to go ahead and get it. It was $2.99 and it's a pretty substantial sized planter so you can't always find ones that are large like this. And it says it was made in Portugal, Smith & Hawken, which I thought that was kind of interesting. Ooh, I think this might be one of my favorite finds which is this beautiful African violet planter. Um, it's a self-watering planter so you can put water in there and it'll take up water as needed. It's in two parts so this top part comes out. It's really lovely and it even says in the bottom the violet pot 1997. So maybe I don't know if this is a limited edition or what but these can these can run you know pretty expensive so to be able to find it for $3.99 was a steal. I now I just need to find a violet that has this color um, and at King's Greenhouse they did have some so I might go back I'm gonna see if I can find some of uh, some more variegated African violets I found some at a nursery a while back and I want to go back to that nursery I think it's in Salisbury North Carolina um, and see if they have any more because I really want to pick up some more um, variegated African violets they're so beautiful I'm into African violets they're underrated I picked up some clothes you guys don't want to see that Ooh. So I found this tray and it was $4.99. I love the color, I love the style of it. And I'm gonna put this, I think, on my coffee table downstairs with a plant on it. It's like the perfect plant tray. So yeah, that was a steal. Doesn't say where it's from or anything like that, but $4.99. Could never find that at a shop for five bucks. Ooh, this also amazing to put a plant on that. Tell me that's not so nice. $3.99, yes. Lots of good stuff. 
Oh, I did get this sweater I thought was really pretty. It's Ann Taylor and it has like little pearls all over it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, carrying on. Ooh! I also thought this one was a really cute pot. It was $1.99. It has some rocks in there, so I'm gonna see about getting those rocks out. This is a fake cactus. Um, it's just so cute, a little smiley face. Ooh, so this is next up. Thought it was absolutely beautiful. You could put a plant in there, have it as a cover pot. Um, you could do like a little terrarium thing with it. You could put a candle in there, use it as a vase. I just really like the detail of the little trees. I just thought that was so pretty for $2.99. I love how big it is too. You could put like a really beautiful big candle. It's not a pot, but I thought this little bag was really cute. I just feel like her essence is my also part of my essence. She's just so happy and just vibing. It's a cute little bag. And it has a little heart. BLE with a little, yeah, Blay brand. Not sure, but it's so cute. It's in great shape. It's barely been used. I don't have a bag this color. Normally I try to just get like simple stuff, but I am loving it. Got a little plate. It says season's greetings. It's a good deal. Cute little handbag. Look how cute this little planter is. It has a little drainage. I love that it has like little flowers and cute little heart. And the little lavender. You could do all sorts of stuff with this. I could just grow lavender in it. $2.99, adorable. $1.99, what a beautiful color. I'm really loving this cobalt blue. I like the pattern and the texture on there. I thought this was really pretty. I think it was like 99 cents or something like that. Loved this. It's perfect for propagations. And I actually really like how it's not completely clear, but I can see into it and that the glass is a little bit darker and it just helps prevent algae. I'm having to constantly clean out all my propagations because of the algae buildup that happens. And sometimes I like to leave my plants growing in water. I don't want to plant them in soil sometimes. Um, and it's easier to do that when the bottle is brown. $1.99, don't know if I said that. $1.99, little Christmas tree decoration. Really delicate and just so cute. Found this great white pot, $2.99. Fabulous, it's a nice size. Little star, again, going with the Christmas theme. I found some fun books. This one is all about gnomes. I like the artwork in here. I know it's nerdy, but I love it. I think it's literally like so sweet. Picked up a book all about the ocean and all the animals that live in the ocean. Journeys of a Lifetime, World 500 Greatest Trips. I thought that was pretty neat. Learn about all the different places to go. And this won't be for everybody, but I like archeology span and history and stuff. And I just thought this book on archeology span was really interesting. And then I picked up a copy of James Harriet's um, All Things Wise and Wonderful. It's a book series that is one of my all time favorites and they have based the, the show All Creatures Great and Small is based on the books. If you haven't watched All Creatures Great and Small, the newer show that's come out, it's so good. I 10 out of 10 recommend. I know that is like the most random haul ever, but that's how it goes with Goodwill. It's like you kind of just have to like take what you get. I think one of my favorite things is probably this self-watering planter. That was like the best deal ever for $3.99. It's really nice and it's in pristine, pristine condition. So let me know if you guys have been finding any good stuff thrifting, what I should keep an eye out for. I'm so excited about my white wizard philodendron. Don't forget to leave in the comments um, which plant you would have picked out. They have some amazing ring of fires and varicosums as well at King's Greenhouse. Now, if you would like to see future planty videos show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to join our Instagram community if you haven't already. All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.